This is Undead Viking. I'm Connor North. As I have, well, as you probably already know, since you watched me review these videos already, I just got done playing Russian Railroads. Hold up the box for me, Tim. Hold the box. We just got done playing Russian Railroads. And uh, here, hold on a second here. And there's the uh, the cute little game box. This is a fairly new release from Z-Man Games. Um, it is a, a railroad-themed game, but it really doesn't have anything. It isn't like a, a train game. You'll notice there are no no trains really. I mean, you do have locomotives. That you use to power your uh, your your engine, basically ah, engines powering engines. But anyway, um, it's it's a pretty uh, straightforward worker placement game. You have different places that you place a certain number of workers to do certain types of actions. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to build up your railroads along these tracks so that you can score more points and you know get. There's all kinds of weird doubling mechanisms and and uh, you know different engineers that can do certain things as well. It. I'm going to do a full review of this uh, to, to show how to play the game eventually, but this is kind of an in-play thing just to tell everybody how to play. Uh, I will start off with Tim, and he's going to say he won. He's going to tell us his total score, and he's going to tell us what he thinks. I, my total score was 365. 365 points, Tim. I totally cheated by having owned the game and played it numerous times. <laughs> All right. So you so you crushed us. I don't know, crush. I only won by like 45 points. Really All right. Well, you're, you're scoring 365 points, 45 isn't that much. But you obviously like the game. I love the game. All right, what do you like about it? There is definitely a massive variety of ways to score. And in this game particularly, I, I was going last on the first turn. So when you guys all did stuff, I'm like, okay, I guess this is what I'm doing for this entire game. But then I have to figure out a way to still pull off my plan. And the... I think against if you guys had played before, you would have known my some of my ideas. Because you went back the factory stopped. route. You went, you, cause you, I went very factory route. Yeah. I even got both of my it, my. And it might be tough to see in the camera. I do apologize, but like you notice those little purple guys in the bottom. Flip one over one so they can see the other side of the, of the. No, the the the. the, the these? Yeah, it's a, it's, a oh, yeah, it's an engine are, on the other side. But the engines can be either used as an engine and they can be used as a factory. In the factories, you have different powers, and, and the engines, of course, you know, let you do other things. So there's choice mechanisms and things like that that you're doing throughout the game. So it's a pretty uh, innovative design, though. I'll give it that. It's, it, I haven't played anything like it before. So, uh, Zach, yeah. good friend, what did you think? Uh, it, was, it was cool. I'm, I'm a sucker for work with placement games in general. So for me, this is something I, I was going to enjoy. I knew going into it. Though I do miss, if I'm going to play a train game, I want to play a Steam or Age of Steam, those types of games, rail stuff, where you're going to actually build rails and area. But I like this anyway. The train theme's nice, it's pretty. Uh, the economic snowball is 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 massive. Uh, last turn, I scored over 100 points, had 150 odd points over there. I mean, it was. Anytime you're whipping out a calculator for the last turn, that snowball might have gone a little too long, but that was the only thing I didn't like about it. Doing the worker placement was cool, building the economic engine was cool. Uh, if you like economic engine, <laughs> and worker placement and snowball games. You can't help but like this. Point salad. Absolutely. All right. Jason. came in last place. You probably... came in last place. What was your score? Uh, 298, but I probably liked it the most. I started at the top. You make the most oh! points. I ended up focusing on the middle quite a bit. I think some uh, second play through, my, knowing the rules a little bit better help. There's a lot of scoring in this game. But if second track, nobody really touched the second track at all, really. I got pretty far up here. I you got, did? You I did? Got, yeah, yeah, I got to. I got both of these. I was trying to get this doubler, which doubles the whole thing. I didn't have enough time to make it because I, I think I started on it too late. I started down here on the third one and then went to the second one. Well, I was in last place a lot. Uh, well, pretty much the entire game. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, I came back to almost, kind of almost being second. So, <laughs> Which is the same as third. Which is same as third, yes. So it's really not saying that. You quiet down over there. Anyway, so, um, but yeah. Uh, like I said, it's. Uh, I'll echo what Zach said. It definitely has a weird, like, I don't know. Games where you score 100 points in a turn seem a little crazy to me. But I'm definitely going to give this another try. I'm going to give it another play or two. And then I'm, I'm definitely going to do a bigger, longer review of this. So be on the lookout for that. But, I mean, I did have fun. So, ultimately, that's what I rate games on and how much fun I had. And I did have a good time playing the game. So, uh, well, until next time, this is Anybody. Thanks for uh, watching. Bye.